Okay. Okay, this is among the important things. Let me start with this slide. When we talk about Mendeley, actually Mendeley comprise of these four uh, important components, uh, which are, the first one is Mendeley Desktop. Okay, most of the time, you're going to deal with Mendeley Desktop eh, in, in doing your own research. Okay, in Mendeley Desktop, it is actually a software that can be your cloud storage where you can store all your research material into Mendeley. And for a uh, free user, usually they're going to provide you with two gigabyte uh, storage for free. If you need more, then you need to pay uh, some amount of money in order to get more uh, space. Eh? Okay, so most of the time you're going to deal with this one. And afterward, I'm going to show you hands-on, step-by-step on how we can fully utilize Manila Desktop for your own purpose. Eh? Okay, other than Mendeley Desktop, Mendeley also can be viewed in the form of web. Okay, what is Mendeley web? Mendeley web is one, it is like an online uh, database where it uh, store a lot of research material uh, in the Mendeley web so that you can get the article from there as well. And other than that, you can also use Mendeley Web when you are outside of your own office, for example. Uh, then if you need to browse your Mendeley desktop in the form of web, so you can open your Mendeley Web using a username and password that you're going to create later on. Eh? It usually Mendeley Web mostly used by, for example, serious researcher or lecturers who uh, travel a lot uh to overseas for example then they still need to uh, read some paper in their Mendeley desktop then they can go into Mendeley web the third one is Mendeley importer uh, importer is actually one of the ex uh, uh, extension that you can use uh, in your browser in order to import directly from the databases into Mendeley desktop All right and the last one and among the most important one is, of course, uh, uh, MS Word plugin, where you need to uh, install in order to start using uh, Mendeley with your Microsoft Word. Okay. Okay. Other than that, you can use Mendeley with any uh, platform or browser. And you can view uh, Monday in the form of desktop, in the form of web, as well as in your mobile device devices. And recently, uh, Mendeley actually uh, have uh, introduced a, a kind of application where you can use uh, using your Apple uh, devices or Android devices. So uh, at any time, you can use it in order to browse your Mendeley using your mobile devices. Okay, so now uh, we have finished about the uh, theoretical things uh, about Mendeley. So let us go now to the hands-on part of Mendeley. If you have uh, opportunity to give a try yourself, uh, please give a try. If not, you just focus on what I'm going to explain to you uh, in this uh, discussion. And you can give a try yourself after the class. Okay, first of all, what you need to do is you need to setting up your Mendeley library. So throughout the class, I'm going to mention Mendeley Library uh, quite frequently. So uh, when I mention library, meaning that it is a database where you store all your material in, in, into Mendeley. Okay, this is a step that you need to do, especially for those who are first time to Mendeley. First of all, you need to sign up for Mendeley online so that you're going to have your own account for Mendeley. After you do register yourself, I'm going to uh, I'm going to give you uh, time after this in order to give a try to sign up for Mendeley online. After you create uh, your username and password for Mendeley, then you need to download your Mendeley desktop into your own um, device. Only then we can start learning on how we can build our library. 